Hi, my name is Trevor Martin, and about two weeks ago, I made a video announcing that I would be starting a 50-state road trip soon. Well, since then, I've gained over 100 subscribers, and that is amazing. So, I figured it was only right to tell you guys that I decided to cancel that plan. I'm canceling the road trip. Just kidding. I want to do that to you guys. No, I'm actually really excited for this opportunity, and I'm really hoping that I'll get to do it super soon. The plan is to leave sometime in June. Sometime in June. I really don't know when. The whole thing revolves around getting the Jeep done ASAP. As soon as, uh, I just lost the light. I can use reflectix. Use reflectix to light my face. There we go. Look at that photography trip. I can't, I can't see myself. That. So, it's been two weeks and the plan is to start this road trip sometime in June. I really want to start it in June. My problem is, is I, I'm getting held up. Little things keep happening, little things keep breaking, and I started to think that maybe I'm overthinking this a little bit. There is a lot of stuff the Jeep needs, but I'm also just trying to prevent the factor of things breaking and things happening. So I'm starting to think that there's a lot of stuff that I may be overthinking a lot. I'm not going to really be out in the middle of nowhere from the beginning. You know, I want to be in some safe places in case something happens or something goes wrong. So I'm going to try to stay at the beginning of the trip. I'm not just going to go full out. I'm going to start staying. I'm going to visit some friends, visit some family, you know, just stay close. But lucky for me, a lot of my family and friends live in most of the places I want to visit. So there's a good little mesh there. I just want to be close to people that I know until I build up a community of people here. That way, you know, I don't, you know, break down and something goes completely wrong. As I go along, I will venture out more, but I want to start off in this like, you know, little safe space of me. <laughs> But no, seriously, I'm getting like super antsy right now. I really want to get to work on this road trip, but there's still a couple of major things I need to do. I'm sure there's a couple of things I can hold off on. I was looking at a couple of my things and I was like, you know what? Do I really need that on the Jeep or can you know I wait? Can that be something that could be done later? So I think that everything I have now might be a little overkill. For example, the door locks. I mean, those are going to be great, but I don't think I need that, you know, first. I could probably get... And I could totally bring that kit with me and just put it on on the road. So it would just be a little extra work, as well as a couple other things that aren't really necessary. I mean, I would like to get them fixed, but they're not necessary right now. Unlike insulation and stuff, that's kind of important. So I want to try to get to work on that. In case you've been watching some of my vlogs recently, I just wanted to point out that most of my vlogs are kind of a lazy adaptation of what I'm trying to do. I really want to be able to create, I really want to create better I'm knocking stuff over. I really want to make better content. And if you haven't noticed, I've been really trying to focus on making my video quality much better. Oh, also, Silver Grizzly's opening at like 7 o'clock, and I want to make it there. Yeah, it is the grand reopening of the Silver Grizzly. And for those of you who don't know, it is the best coffee shop in the world. You'll, you'll see when I get there, for those of you who haven't seen it before. It's literally the best, number one. Uh, also, if you weren't able to find out by now, um, I kind of have ADHD, so sorry if everything's been kind of random, but uh, long story short, I'm about to get to work on insulating the Jeep. And exactly why am I insulating the Jeep um, at midnight? Because I'm sticking excited about this road trip and I want to get the Jeep done. Now, I kind of want to show you guys exactly what my plan is and then... In case you don't know what this is, this is Reflectix. Reflectix is like bubble wrap and aluminum and it just kind of reflects heat. Now, this hasn't been known to be the best insulator. It's a, uh, it's kind of like your last ditch resort or if you literally have nothing else. And I didn't even plan on insulating the back of the Jeep. I just figured it, this would be a nice touch and if nothing else, it couldn't hurt. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna rip it all out again, but I'm really hoping it works. Now this right here, this actually is insulation. This is like a foam board. Um, it's just all I found and I figured it would work. And then I have this too. Oh shoot, I don't know what I hit. Did I hit my wood? Did I hit my foam? Okay, this is a plywood board. This is foam, plywood board, and I really don't know what this is. It's like a vinyl wooden board thing. So this is the plan. Foam board goes here, wood board goes on top of this, wait, no, that's not right. Now, I've been studying like everything there is to know about van life. Um, I actually thought about building a van. Before I decided to convert my Jeep, I actually considered ditching the Jeep and turning into a van because it was the same thing I wanted to do. Problem is, I love my Jeep and it's literally like the only thing I care about, so I needed to use my Jeep. My Jeep is my baby. So instead of selling it and getting a van, I decided to turn my Jeep into basically a van build. I didn't necessarily need to do all this wood paneling stuff. I just watched so many videos on how to convert a van. I had to try it. 
So since I've done all that study, I found out that Reflectix is kind of useless unless there's an air gap. There's supposed to be just like a gap of air where you have space so the Reflectix can help reflect heat. So there's not really going to be much of that. I mean, there's going to be that foam board, but that's like two inches. I'm not stupid. I know that it's supposed to have gap. I just, I mean, <laughs> this is the back of my Jeep and there's going to be a hard top here and I'm already going to have problems with I'm just telling you this so you don't go in the comments and tell me I put in the Reflectix wrong. I know, but I wasn't even planning on putting insulation there, so it's not like it's going to hurt it. It's just not going to do a great job. multi-purpose primer and sealer uh, it's supposed to like help prevent prevent mold or something I don't know I read it on something about I don't know it's gonna help it's gonna hopefully it doesn't mildew that really stinks so we'll see how this goes <laughs> Got the flooring in. It's super choppy. It doesn't look good at all. I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at that. It's like wood. It's like real wood. It's so cool. And it's actually like patty because it's like got that cushiony stuff in it because the stupid wood has like mesh on it. So it's nice and soft. And it's not like rock hard because it absorbs sound and everything. It's great. It's insulated. It's a little rough around the edges. If you can't tell. I'm going to say it. I'm going to get like. 20 grit or like 10 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna sand this thing like crazy and see how that goes Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. The wood looks really good actually I might I banged my shin like freaking four times so that hurt I'm a little ticked off It's three o'clock in the morning now, so I'm you know little thin um Yeah, I don't know what else to do from here. That's pretty much all I had planned the grand reopening of the stinking silver grizzly opens at 7 a.m. tomorrow, today, 7 a.m. So, Silver Grizzly opens in four hours, and I am going to be there to edit this video. Why? Because I want to. Silver Grizzly is the best coffee shop in the world. What? What? Holy crud. Look at this. Look. What just happened? No. That's how I'm supposed to use my microphone. <laughs> I'm trying to fix my mic because it just think it broke on me and I can't figure it out. It's like it literally just fell off. So I might have to contact Road and see what on earth happened. Also, the Silver Grizzly's over there and there's a train in my way. That's Silver Grizzly. I'm always afraid like one of these signs is specifically designed to like hit me. It's just gonna like come up. That thing. Scary. Look at that. That's nothing new. I've seen that before. But still, it looks cool every single time. I just realized I can point the mic this way instead of the other way. Cause, oh my word, it's broken. I thought it was going to be, you know, more people, but it looks like I'm the alone right now. I'm the only morning riser. Then again, I only got like two hours of sleep, so I don't know if that counts. 
So I've been making my own, this is like an ASMR video of this stupid broken mic. I've been making my own silver grizzly coffee, like since quarantine or whatever, just make it pour over. But there's something about the experience of just like being here, specifically being here, like, hang on, let me show you guys. So that's awesome. Um, I need to figure out this mic because it's going to drive me crazy holding it like this. I need to figure out why it fell off.